looks like we got nothing on Yoshi's gift, so let's go to Corona. Alright, let me just make my way over to the speedboat. So this question is actually also from a space villain. Uh, he simply asked, can you do a tutorial on the speedboat in Corona Mountain? And the answer to that is yes, I can. Although, it won't be super comprehensive, which is why I said not everyone's gonna like my answer. <laughs> okay, so speedboat. Um, let me just lay down the basics. For speedboat, you want to stand around here, so like, slightly to the back of the center. That's where you want to be. Um, and then... You want to press R down all the way so that Mario remains stationary and sprays. And then honestly, the entire thing is just about getting used to how the boat works. So it's like, this is something that kind of needs to click, but you see how I'm like kind of going left, right, left, right, left, right. Like you kind of have to do that back and forth. You turn flood to the flood to the left, then to the right, and you kind of uh, you vary the amount of time that you aim left or right by, depending on like where you want to steer it. And this is something that you just need to get a feeling for. Like it's pretty easy. Like there's not really anything weird going on, with the exception of the fact that the way the boat handles kind of changes depending how fast it goes. But yeah, if you aim to this side, you go... Like, if you aim Flood to the right, the boat will go to the left, basically. And vice versa. So... Basically, on the control stick, it's actually... it's not inverted. If you press left on the control stick, you're making the boat go left. But yeah, you never want to end up spraying straight to one side, that's bad. You always want to be spraying towards the back, otherwise the boat will start doing weird stuff. Like, if I, uh, if I, like, do this, then see, it suddenly starts turning towards where I'm spraying. You don't want that, so always keep it aimed primarily towards the back. I did kill the boat, didn't I? Okay, yeah. <laughs> And then, yeah, mainly it's just a matter of fooling around with it. If you have practice codes, it's very nice because you can do what I'm doing. You set your position here and every time you crash, you just load and wait for the boat to respawn. Very good way to practice this. But yeah, uh, that's basically it. You just need to get used to it. This is one of those things, and I'm pretty sure that everyone I've ever talked to has mirrored my experience with this, but speedboat is something that just needs to click. It's not something that's very easy to explain. You just need to screw around with it, and then eventually uh, you'll just understand it, and then suddenly it will be really easy. So really just something that you need to sit down, maybe take a few hours, fool around with. But yeah, at the start here, you just want to go to the right, and then you... You balance it out. Like you kind of take a big curve around there. That's the general path that you're taking. So you start off going to the right a lot, and then you go to the left a lot. And then at the end you kind of balance it out, and you go, uh, you go straight. Or at least you try to. See, like, you never want to- okay, this is another thing. So the reason I say that you want to kind of zigzag, like you want to go back and forth, is because you don't want the boat to go out of control. If you keep aiming to the same side for too long, then the boat will just keep turning. But the speed at which it turns keeps increasing. So, like, say if I aim to the right a lot here, it's gonna take me- see how long it's taking me now to turn it around? Like, it kind of hits a point of no return, where you can no longer make it turn back the other way. So that's why you want to be like, you know, left, right, left, right. Oh, and I 
actually messed up there. <laughs> okay, so, so I saw someone asking if I can show the backup, which I can. Okay, so if you're halfway decent at Speedboat, you should always be able to get on top of this thing. Uh, that's not very hard. You have the hover nozzle. You can see I like crashed it all the way over there and I still managed to get on here. So that shouldn't be difficult. And then for the boatless backup, um, you want to spin jump and then hover all the way to that uh, stalagmite there. And you want to kind of dive off of the off of the side of it. Like this. And then you hold R and you get another hover. And you do the same thing on this. And that's a really easy boatless backup. <laughs> like, it's honestly not hard at all. So let me show that off again. Let me just crash this bad boy. The only thing is that you kind of need, like, a specific angle here. But, I don't know, it's not too bad. But sometimes you'll, like, you won't go over it, but you'll slide backwards, and that means that you're probably hitting it either uh, too, like, low, or you're not hitting it in the right spot. You kind of want to hit it, like, right on the side, like that, so that you kind of get over the hump. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I have to say on Speedboat. Anyone else have...